Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the family management function on Steam. This is a new feature that has been recently added to Steam, and this is pretty much a better version of Steam family sharing. I'm going to show you how we can enable and use this feature, how we can create a family and how we can invite someone to the family. And then I'm going to also explain the differences um, between these two features. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the top right corner and click on Steam. And then we want to go to settings. In the settings, we want to go to interface. And over here, we have client beta participation. We need to select either Steam Families Beta or Steam Beta Update. I'm going to choose Steam Families Beta. Both of these options work. And we need to enable this here in order to use this feature as it is still in the beta version. Once we have that, now we can go to the top right corner and click on our name. And then we want to go to account details. And then in the account details, click on family management. And then we have the whole page related to the family management. Over here, we can either join a family or create a new family. So we're going to click on create family. Then we need to enter the name of the family. And now we can click create. Keep in mind that if your account is limited, you are not able to create a family. If you can create a family, it looks like this. This is your management page. And over here, you can click on invite members in order to add new members. Then we can choose who do we want to invite. And then we have an option to invite as adult or invite as child. In the library tab, we can see games that are included for the family, as well as those that are excluded. If you have a child in your family, over here you can see the requests made by the child. We can also check the playtime of a child in the family and the history of the family management. If you want to manage those that are already in the family, you can click on this arrow over here in order to open some options. So what is the main difference between this and the family sharing, the old one? As you may already know, if you have family sharing enabled with someone, you can play their games or at least most of them, as long as they are not playing anything. They can be offline or online on Steam, but they can't be in-game. If that person also has other people in the family sharing and someone else is playing a game from the borrowed library, then you are not able to borrow the game either. So in some situations, it is very limiting. With the new family system, you can play games purchased by other family members whether or not they are playing something at the time. But that's not all. The family library now includes the amount of copies purchased by all family members, as you can see over here. There we can see the copies. So let's say there are three members in a family, you and two friends. Both of your friends own a copy of a game. Now two family members can play that game at the same time. It doesn't really matter who bought these copies. They are now playable by anyone in the family. And in the meantime, the owner of the copy can play something else too, without any hindrance. There are also parental control options, so if you are a parent, you can choose the games available for your child, restrict access to store or community on Steam, choose playtime limits, or even recover a password for the children's account. Children, on the other hand, can make requests. They can ask adult family members to purchase a game and you can either accept or decline. If you want to read more about the new Steam family system, you can go to Steam, hover over store and then click on news. And then you should be able to find the article somewhere over here. And then you can read all about this new feature over here. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.